The Holy Quran, a divine scripture, was sent down to mankind 14 centuries ago. From the day of its revelation to the day of judgment, it will remain as the last and sole guide for humanity. There are countless proofs that the Quran is the word of God. Such examples are its literary qualities that no human being can imitate, the fact that it is free of all inconsistency, and the way it foretells the future and contains certain hidden information. The Quran contains another miracle that proves it to be God's revelation. There are a remarkable number of scientific truths that are contained in it. In this book that was revealed over 14 centuries ago, there are innumerable examples of information which humanity has only been able to uncover using today's technology. People at that time were devoid of science. Conceptions of the nature and the universe were based on superstition and myth. For example, the Arabs supposed that the earth was flat and that mountains supported the sky above. Yet, all these superstitious beliefs were eradicated with the revelation of the Qur'an. The verse, God is He who raised up the heavens without any support, invalidated the false beliefs of the Arabs regarding the sky. The Qur'an contains information on a great many subjects that nobody could have known at the time from the creation of the universe to the making of man, from the structure of the atmosphere to the balances on earth. Recent scientific discoveries have shown just how miraculous this information is. In the early 20th century, the prevalent view across the world was that the universe was infinite. According to this view, known as the static universe model, the universe had no end or beginning. This view dominated the scientific world for many years. This was the case until the evidence for a theory rocked this erroneous belief. The Big Bang Theory The evidence proved that an explosion emanated from a single point some 15 billion years ago from nothingness. The entire universe, together with matter and time, came into existence as a result of a great explosion that occurred a long time ago. Many scientific findings today support the Big Bang Theory. It has now been proved that the universe had a beginning and was brought into being from nothing through a huge explosion. This fact proved as the result of long research in the field of physics, was also declared 14 centuries ago in the Noble Qur'an. He created the heavens and the earth from nothing. Do not the unbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were sewn together, and then we unstitched them, and that we made from water every living thing, so will they not believe. The word rakt, translated as sewn together, means mixed in each, blended in the Arabic vernacular. The phrase, we unstitched, is the verb fataka, 
and in Arabic it implies the tearing apart of a structure of things that are sewn to one another. A very important scientific fact is being described here, the separation of the heavens and the earth. Intriguingly, at the first moments of the Big Bang, the entire matter of the universe collected at one single point. The heavens and earth, which were not created yet, were within this single point. Then, this point exploded violently, causing its matter to disunite. This is just as is described in the verse. People 14 centuries ago, of course, possessed no scientific knowledge or technology by which to know that the earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, and everything they saw or that which was invisible in the skies had initially been united in a single point. 